What's up guys, it's Abby Andrew and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is an interesting one. I'm going to be showing you a ton of wigs today. These are wigs that were once a part of my collection that I'm now starting to sift out to make room for new wigs. Most of these wigs are wigs that I love and wore so much that they're just kind of in bad shape now, so I'm just kind of getting rid of them to bring new wigs into my collection. I actually found a program online that apparently recycles synthetic wigs, so I'm gonna try to ship them to that company and see how that goes. And then some of the wigs that are in a bit better shape, I might try to donate to different wig charities. So I have a huge a bunch of wigs to show you guys, so I'm just gonna jump in and show you some of the ones that I am getting rid of. This one is in pretty good shape and I actually like it a lot, but I just have so many wigs, I really needed to start sifting through these. And this is a wig that's been in my collection since probably 2015, and I haven't really worn it a ton, so I think that's, I think it's time to give it away. As I'm doing this video, I know there's gonna be a bunch of wigs that I'm like gonna wanna hang on to <laughs> as I go through this, so please give me the strength to not change my mind about these. And this wig is actually so cute. I feel bad about giving it away. I knew I would start second guessing my decision with some of these. I had to start with one that was in really good shape. Yep, I'm already, I'm already deciding I'm gonna keep this one, so <laughs> that was a failure. Let's already move on to the next okay, one. So this next wig is one that I never really wore out of the house at all, so it's in perfect shape. The reason that I didn't wear this very often is because it is a large cap version of a style. It actually is a very cute style, and for some reason it kind of reminds me of Alice Cullen. That's actually part of the reason that this would be tempting to keep, so I could use it for like an Alice cosplay, but <sighs> let's not have two wigs in a row that I decide to keep after all. This one really is super cute. I want this to go to someone that it would be their daily wig rather than sit in my closet, you know what I mean? So this next one is a wig that I purchased myself in 2013, I believe, and this is a wig that I have worn a ton. I've worn it to death, and every time it ended up being in bad shape, I would steam out the bad parts and then keep wearing it, and then when it got really, really ratty and messed up, I continued to wear it in a braid because I just love this wig so much. I think I'm finally gonna let it go. It possibly might be one I attempt to dye. There is a way to dye synthetic wigs. It's called the FW Ink Wig Method. Again, I only would recommend you trying this on wigs that you're ready to retire anyway so you don't mess up a brand new wig because it kind of can leave the hair texture a little bit funky. But this wig is like in very bad shape so I think it's time to maybe try dyeing it and just see what happens. This is one of my favorite wigs of all time but yeah this <laughs> this wig is clearly in very very bad shape. I think it also needs a wash really badly. Here is me wearing it on my graduation day from high school actually <laughs> so that picture was taken like eight years ago or something now. <laughs> Next up is another one of my all-time favorite wig styles, and this particular one I have worn to death. This is Cody from Amore. So I have worn a ton of different Cody's over the years, and every time it starts to get into bad shape, I replace it with a new one. So this is one that I always have to have as a staple in my collection. And this, this particular one is just like really old and in rough shape, so I probably won't try to revive this or anything. So this is not what Cody looks like normally. It's been sitting in a bag for a long time, so it kind of like got these weird crimpy waves in it. <laughs> Just because it's been in a bag for probably like years right now. Why does it look cute? Why do I like all of these now that I'm trying to get rid of them? This next one is a synthetic wig that I bought from a cheaper wig company. I think I bought it when I was probably like 14 or 15 years old. And before I learned that you can't dye synthetic wigs with human hair, I attempted to dye it with a uh, human hair dye. And this is how it came out. I think I got it at a random wig store near me. And then I dyed it. It was a blonde wig that I dyed with human hair pink dye, and then as I started to wash it out, I realized that human hair dye just washes right out of synthetic hair and doesn't stick. So I stopped washing it out, and so it's just like, it still has the dye in it. And it doesn't actually feel that bad, all things considered, but I was trying to go for like the scene girl look. Um, it just looks really wacky. I haven't even put this on in probably 10 years. Let's see. Like it's kind of a look. It kind of looks like a mullet. Like how come every wig that I take out, I'm like, ooh, what can I do with this? If you look here, you can even see I tried to do like the scene girl like striped hair thing. I took the dye and just kind of like put a little patch there. It didn't really work, but like you can see I kind of tried to put like a stripe there. Why am I wanting to keep all these wigs? This needs to go. This this really needs to go. This wig I got when I was in ninth grade of high school. And back in the day, I used to only just wear one wig style and let people think that was my real hair. And it was usually just a short blonde Cody wig. And that was my go-to wig for like 10 years or something crazy like that. And when my friend gave me this wig, 
I actually was brave enough to wear it to high school for like a couple months and I did shift from a short blonde wig to a dramatically different wig because I kind of just had like a burst of confidence to change up my wigs but then it ended up going away again so um, but now it's back so that's fine but I had like a spurt of alopecia confidence in ninth grade and then I regressed for a little while. Next one is another one of my all-time favorite wig styles that I have just worn to a not so great condition because if you wear synthetic wigs every day for a long time they do start to get a little bit like ratty at the ends and this is a wig that i just love so much that i just wore like kind of to death as you can see if you look closely it really just kind of has those like frayed ends that synthetic wigs get after a very long time i wore this wig so much though so that just kind of happens eventually so a lot of these wigs are really hard for me to get rid of because they're styles that i love a lot but this one is kind of in a kind of past the point of being able to be like repaired. Fun fact, I was actually the model for this wig in the Amore catalog for a little while before that photo expired. <laughs> Next one is a pretty similar style. It's also the same color. This one is a melted marshmallow. This is Cali from the Amore collection. Another really gorgeous wig that I kind of wore um, way past its prime. You could see the frayed end. This wig like might be in a revivable condition, but I just don't have the patience for that lately. So you can see these curls are just kind of like matted a little bit too much. Oh my God. This is another wig that I wore so much that I can't really justify keeping anymore because it's just so old. This is my Stevie wig that I got in probably 2014, I believe. I and mean, it's in braids right now because the hair is just so messed up and matted that the only way I can possibly wear it and have it look decent is by putting it in braids. This is Stevie from the Amore Collection in Coffee Latte, one of my all-time favorite wigs and probably one of the most worn wigs in my collection. It looks so cute in the braids, I don't even want to take it out of the braids, but I will show you. I will show you guys what it looks like. Putting an old wig in braids is a great way to kind of like extend its lifespan if it's just kind of like in an old condition and it looks kind of messed up the braids will kind of like hide that. And this has probably been in braids for months now, so it kind of crimped the hair. Normally this is a totally straight style. <sighs> Girl, like why does that look cute now? And the reason it's in like kind of decent shape considering it's as old as it is, is that I have steamed it a couple times, but I feel like once you steam it a few times, it kind of gets beyond the point of repair at a certain point. So it's like, I could always just get a new Stevie. Like I could get a new Stevie to add to my collection. I don't have to keep resuscitating this wig that I've had for like, seven years now. This is a wig that I have absolutely abused. Tatum by Amore is a wig that I have purchased over and over and over again because that was my go-to wig for a while uh, in college. Even now I wear Tatum a lot, but I wore it like every single day from 2013 to like 2016 or so. This is one of the many Tatums that I have owned over the years. And because I had to replace it every six months or so, the previous Tatum would typically become my gym wig that I would just put on for working out. And this is one that I wore to death and then I proceeded to use it as a gym wig and abuse it even further. So I don't even want to put this on my head. This is in really, really, really rough shape. Tatum is usually a fully straight style. I think I just repeatedly would like put it in a ponytail, leave it in a ponytail, put it in a plastic bag. But yeah, this is definitely in really, really rough shape. I'm going to start rushing through these a little bit faster because I am taking way too long. Miranda is a style I love. It's also another style that I modeled for the Amore catalog many years ago. I think the, there's a new picture for it now, but I will put the picture of the one. I think that was the very first shoot I did with them. That was the very first photo of the very first shoot I did with them. So I feel like I looked a little bit awkward because I was a little bit uncomfortable because it was my first like real photo shoot. In the condition that it's in, it kind of looks really punk rock, but... I think it's kind of just like too old to repair at this point. So here's another one that's actually in pretty good shape, but I would like to just donate it to someone who will wear it a little bit more than I do because it is one that kind of just sits in my collection for a bit. This is the, the style Seville from Noriko and Macadamia LR. I did wear this quite a bit, but it's still in really good shape as well. Not me wanting to keep every wig that I put on. Maybe this is one that I'll keep, but if someone comments that they want it, I'll give it to them. Is that a good solution? This wig has a funny story to it. I was sublet hopping for a little while around the New York City area in like 2018, 2019-ish. And I lived in this one apartment in Manhattan for a little bit with four other random girls as roommates, total strangers. They were really, really nice. Um, but one of them, when we were both moving out, she knew that I wore wigs and she had this random wig in her collection and was like, hey, do you want this? And I was like, sure, why not? This is that, this is that wig. It is quite long, but it is like definitely a cheaper quality wig. You can see from like the hairline and the part, it's just like a for fun, kind of like for fashion, for costume kind of wig. It is like to my, to my hips. 
You can't even see. I can't even like get it all in frame. It is a very, very long wig. This bag literally just says old Tatum. So if you didn't believe me before when I said I have purchased Tatum many times, here's some more evidence. This probably isn't all of them. I've probably gotten rid of some of them. This is crazy, okay? One, two, the one I showed you before. Three, four, five, all Tatum. And those are all ones that I got before working with Renee of Paris. So if you wanted proof that I wore Renee of Paris wigs before I ever started working with them, here is proof. It's also proof that I'm a wig hoarder. So I would always wear Tatum until the ends got frayed and then I would kind of cut them into a short bob, but I feel like I did a pretty good job. <laughs> so normally Tatum is kind of like up to here and then when the ends would get frayed, I would just trim them ever so slightly and turn them into this like really cute, really cute kind of look. Let me just show you all of these. <laughs> This one I feel like is a lot choppier than the others. I feel like I didn't do as good of a job cutting this one. What the heck is going on here? Oh, and this is one. Oh my gosh, I actually have a YouTube video where I cut this wig. I cut it into a pixie. So I don't think I ever actually wore this. I think I cut it into a pixie as an experiment. And oh my God, I look like an anime character. What in the world? I literally look like Sasuke or something. Am I Sasuke? This is a warning to you all not to cut your own wigs, okay? What is this? This is too wigs in the same bag. Oh my god, not another Tatum. Not another two Tatums, y'all. Y'all, this is crazy. What does that have me at now, like eight? This is actually one that I wore in the Amour photo shoot. This is one that I modeled. Here's that picture. And then at the end of the shoot, because they can't like sell the wigs or anything after they use them for a shoot, uh, they ended up just giving this one to me. Once they're sitting in a bag for a really long time, sometimes they get like little kinks in the hair. I could probably fix that with steaming, but this kind of looks like it could be fixed so i think i will keep this one this one just says thor wig on the bag my one of my good friends was thor for halloween one year and he looked so awesome he purchased two wigs from amazon and the other one he ended up using and this one for some reason even though it was advertised as a thor wig ended up like being brunette and he was gonna throw it away and because i'm a freaking hoarder i was like wait i'll take it but it is such a low quality costume wig that this nobody should be cursed with having this wig I don't even want this on my head anymore. <laughs> like, this can go. This is a pretty nice wig that I just don't wear often, but I think someone can definitely get, make good use out of this. This is called Juliet. It was in the More More collection. I'm not sure if they still sell it. I'll have to check and I will put it on the screen if they do or not. Um, but this is a collection that they had for a little while. That's kind of, it was a blend of human hair and heat friendly synthetic hair. So it was just a blend of two different types of hair. So very experimental, interesting thing that I've never really heard of from many other wig companies. It feels very, very soft because it is partially human hair. Another wig that I have loved and worn to death. This is Madeline from Amour. My heart aches getting rid of this one because I love it so much, but I will just replace it with a new Madeline. Again, it kind of looks like it's in decent shape, but the hair just feels kind of like, eh doesn't feel as nice as it does when it's new, so I'd rather just have a new Madeline. Next is another wig that is in pretty good condition. Maybe somebody who does wear pixie cuts can get more wear out of this. This wig was in the giveaway pile, but I might actually keep this one. This one is really lightweight. I think this one's actually fully hand-tied from the Amour collection. This is called Nala. Again, the reason I haven't worn this much yet is because it is shorter than I normally wear, but it kind of is cute, right? And wouldn't you know, here is another Tatum. Wow. This wig style is Janelle in the color Banana Split LR. Definitely a really cute one. I think this one is in pretty decent shape. Kind of need to comb it out a little bit. This is another wig style that I loved so much for a while. I wore it a lot. I probably wore it into not the greatest condition. I think with a wash, it would probably actually be okay. But this wig style was actually discontinued. It was in a more style called Alana XO. And I did also model this one in one of the Amour videos. So here is that clip. Love this style. It is in rough shape now. So that is all the wigs that I had to show in this video of wigs that I either wore to death or am donating or recycling. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. If you enjoyed this kind of video format, it is super long right now as, I've, as I'm filming. I'll try to edit it down to a decent length, but hopefully this wasn't too long. But any wigs that are in good condition, I'm going to donate to some sort of charity that can put them in the hands of someone that would love and cherish the wig as a daily wear wig rather than sitting in my wig storage and some of them are wigs that I loved for so many years and are just in bad shape and it's probably time to buy a replacement for them. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave any suggestions below for places to donate wigs or places to recycle them. I would love to learn more about that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thumbs up this video and I will see you in the next one.